Hello everyone, welcome to Power Electronics lecture series. In today's video, we are going to take a look at types of power semiconductor devices. Let's get started. Power semiconductor devices are primarily classified by the nature in which they are controlled. Having said that, the first classification is uncontrolled devices and an example to it is power diodes. When we say uncontrolled devices, we have absolutely no control over these type of devices and that is why they come under the categorical separation and fall under uncontrolled devices. For example, if you look at the symbol of a power diode, you have anode and cathode, whereas you don't have any special terminals in order to control these type of devices. So that is why you have no control over these type of devices. I hope this point is clear. The next categorical separation is semi-controlled devices. The example to semi-controlled devices is silicon controlled rectifier, also referred to as SCR. Let us look at the symbol of SCR at the first place. SCR basically has three terminals that is you have anode, you have cathode and then you have gate. And this gate terminal is responsible for controlling this device. When you provide a gate pulse to this device, it is turned on and that is why you have control to turn this on. Whereas you will not be able to control this to turn these devices off and hence you have no control to turn this off straight away you need external commutation circuits to do that and that is why these come under semi control devices as you are only able to control the turning on of these type of devices i hope this point is clear the next classification is fully controlled devices by now you would have already guessed it but what are the examples of fully controlled devices? Power BJT, Power MOSFET and IGBT. For example, if you are looking at the symbol of a transistor, you have base terminal, you have collector and then you have emitter, isn't it? So by controlling base terminal, you will be able to control the turn on of these devices and by controlling the base terminal, you will be able to turn these devices off as well. So both on and off is controlled and that is why they come under fully controlled devices. Some of the other classification under fully controlled devices are thyristors that is nothing but GTO, IGCT and MCT. These are devices that come under the family of thyristors. We also call SCR as thyristors but usually the term thyristors is used for the family of devices and not only for SCR. GTO stands for gate turn off thyristor and IGT, IGCT stands for integrated gate commutated thyristor and MCT stands for MOS controlled thyristor. Basically these devices are almost extinct. We don't use them in a lot of applications and we only primarily focus on GTO, power MOSFET, IGBT and BJT. And these are the devices that are largely used in comparison uh, in fully controlled devices. So these are the primary classifications of these type of devices and we are not going in depth over here as we will discuss them in detail when we talk about individual devices. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.